John Cash, what an incredible guy, one of my favorite people in the world. One of the things that really sets you apart from anybody else is your incredible attitude. Talk to us a little bit about attitude. Well, first of all, what a compliment. Uh, you know, I don't take compliments very well, but that's quite a compliment and quite an honor that you would think that of me. But uh, I don't take it lightly either. Um, I have always looked at attitude as being something that you choose. You know, you choose, you know, you can be bitter or better in any situation. Mm -hmm. I learned that when my son passed away. You can be bitter or better, and I chose better. Um, but my dad told me one time, you can either be internally motivated or you can be externally compelled. <laughs> you choose. Yeah. And being internally motivated, you check your motives. Yeah. And pure motives are attractive. People love to see people that have pure motives and why they make choices. And so that's what I'm driven by is pure motives and trying to be internally motivated instead of externally compelled. How do you stay so athletically fit? I mean, you just came, you just got back from what, Spain. Two weeks in Spain? Yep. A week and a half, two yeah, weeks? A week and a half in Spain. Riding bikes with the, with, with the U.S team, professional team, yeah. these guys are less than half your age, a lot of them, and you kept up with them the whole time. Most of How'd the time. That, most of the time. <laughs> yeah. How does that happen? How do you do that? I, I don't put limits on myself. My body will tell me what I can't do. I just listen to my body. It'll tell me what I can't do. To me, most of it's a head game. I don't let it get, I check it at the door. Don't let it come. But, but you also push yourself. Your body oh, yeah. doesn't just tell you oh, what yeah. you can do. I do push myself. You push yourself until... I push myself. Until your body tells you to stop? It rarely tells me to stop. But it'll, it'll, <laughs> give, me, it'll give me some, sens some sensors. Some, yeah. some, I'll, I'll, you know, sometimes I'll get a little sensory overload and I'll say, okay, I need to back off a little bit. But most of the time as an athlete, my, again, my philosophy in life is do the homework, take the test. If you don't do the homework, stay away from the test. Right. I wouldn't have gone to Spain had I not been prepared enough to ride with those guys. But I knew my place over there. I'm riding with the Trek factory racing team and I'm training with them. But I knew my place. Yeah. I'm a 62-year-old athlete who's a pretty good athlete. But I knew my place. Yeah. And my, my place was to go over there and train with them and, and interact with them and work out with them. But kind of stay out of the way as mm -hmm. much as I could so they could do their training camp because they're at three-week training camp. So I knew my place. Yeah. But wow. I hung in there. Yeah, they knew sure. I was. They, they knew I was there. I'm sure that <laughs> if you're there, I'm sure they know you're there. And I'll tell you something else. Huh. Every one of those kids on the team thanked me for coming. Really? I'm sure. They said we had so much fun with you. Hmm. And one of them said, "Boy, you don't take yourself so serious, do you?" I'm like, "Nah. What's I just have point? fun. Just enjoy the journey." Yeah. Yeah. So there.